Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna crochet this hat. If you're ready to start, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe and let's begin! Today I will be working with um, Stitch Studio by Nicole, the classic yarn. These are the specifications of the yarn. It's 100% acrylic, a medium 4, requires a um, size 5.5 millimeter hook. Um, I like it very much because it's a very soft acrylic. It feels very, very um, fluffy. <laughs> and yeah, this is what we're going to be working with in the, my 5.5 millimeter hook. We'll begin with a slip knot. And we'll chain multiples of seven, whichever number you need to go around your head or the circumference of your head. So three, four, five, six, seven, and so on, until you get the desired width of the hat. And here are my 70 chains. That's how much I need for my head. And uh, make sure your chain is straight and slip stitch into the first chain. To form a circle. Now we'll chain three, that will count as a double crochet, and we'll put double crochets in each chain around, like so, all the way around, and I'll meet you somewhere here at the end. And here I am at the end of the round, I will slip stitch into the third chain from the beginning to close it. Then to start the new round, I will chain three and put um, three double crochets into the next three, uh, one double crochet into the next three stitches. So I have total of four. Then I'm gonna skip the next stitch and into the next, I will put a puff stitch. So that would be yarn over, insert the hook into the stitch pull up a loop and pull it so it's as tall as your double crochets. Yarn over again, insert into the same stitch and pull up another loop and yarn over again, insert into the same stitch and pull up another loop. So you have this one plus one, two, three, four, five, six. So total of seven loops on the hook and pull them so they are the same height as your double crochet. Yarn over pull through all the stitches and chain one to close the puff. Then into the same exact stitch we're going to do the same exact thing. Yarn over, insert into the loop, pull uh, into the stitch, pull up a loop once, second time and third time. So you have again seven loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through all the loops and chain one. You're going to skip the next stitch and you're going to move into the next with a double crochet. And you will put four double crochets. One in each. And this is how the repeat of the round is going to go. Four double crochets. Skip the next, a puff stitch into the next. then a puff stitch into the same, so two puff stitches into that, mm -hmm. then skip the next one and one double crochet into the next four, and repeat the same steps all the way around. Now when you get to the end of the round you will, after you've done the four double crochets, skip the next one and you will put your last uh, pair of puff stitches, two and three, chain one. You will skip the last stitch of the round and slip stitch into the third chain from the beginning. And this is what we have. Now we'll continue. Chain three counts as a double crochet one double crochet in each, double crochet from the previous round, 
and here we will skip this stitch and we will go in between the puff stitches into that chain one space and put two puff stitches in there a puff stitch chain one and one more into the same space and chain one and then we're gonna move into the double crochet so that's what uh, we're repeating the second um, round for double crochets and these are our puff stitches and again two puff stitches in between the two puff stitches from the previous round chain one and one double crochet into the uh, double crochets from the previous round and you're gonna be repeating this till the end and this is what we have so pretty easy you're repeating the same steps I'll meet you here at the end all right I put the last pair of puff stitches into this stitch chained one to one to close the puff stitch and I will slip stitch into the third chain from the beginning the next couple of rounds are gonna be uh, exactly the same we'll, we'll repeat uh, round number three for as many times as tall you would like your hat to be but keep in mind that we will also need to start uh, narrowing it down so uh, go ahead and make it as tall as you need or want and I will meet you uh, when we will start narrowing the head down all right I think this would be enough um, for my size I have 10 rounds in total or 9 with the puff stitches and now I will start decreasing so for that I will chain 3 that will count as a double crochet then the next two double crochets are gonna be together yarn over insert the hook into the next stitch pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over insert the hook into the next stitch pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through all the stitches on the hook then a double crochet into the next so you can see these two in the middle became one and we have three instead of four then the next we will make the same uh, two puff stitches into that chain one space in between and chain one and move to the next here is going to be easier so one double crochet then the next two are together and one into the next and again three then you put the regular two puff stitches in between the two puff stitches of the previous round like so all the way to the end of this round I'll meet you here and I'm at the end of the uh, round I will slip stitch into the third chain from the beginning and there's what we have it started slightly decreasing now we'll start again with um, chain three and the next two we'll put together so these two together and then we're moving into the puff stitch and putting a puff stitch uh, two puff stitches in between the two puff stitches okay show you one more time so we have three stitches here we're gonna put a double crochet into the next and double crochet two together into these two like so 
then the puff two puff stitches here. So you're gonna go all the way around. And here is the hat, how uh, you can see how it's getting smaller. And to finish this round, I'm gonna slip stitch into the third chain from the beginning. And you're gonna chain three. Actually, you're gonna chain two. That will count as um, a part of the double crochet. And you are gonna um, make like also like a half double crochet and then pull through two. So these are gonna be two double crochets together. And I apologize for the background noises or kids running around. Um, so I will put two puff stitches into the next. And chain one. So here we have two uh, stitches or two loops. And we will put two double crochets together, like so, and move on to our puff stitches. One and two. And again, we have two stitches here, two together. And this is how you're gonna go all the way around. I'll meet you here. And finishing this round, I am going to slip stitch into the third chain. So that's the two, uh, two chains when we chain two in the beginning and then this one formed when we did two together. So that is what we have. And now we will just chain three. That will count as one double crochet and we'll move into the puff stitches and put two puff stitches like we put previously the same and this time it's gonna be one double crochet and then two puff stitches and double crochet into the next like so all the way around and I'll meet you here when I'm gonna slip stitch into the third chain from the beginning and finishing up this round slip stitch into the third chain from the beginning and we'll do one more round with the same with um, double crochets only so chain three and put the puff stitches into that chain one space between the puff stitches like so and a double crochet into the double crochet and puff stitches double crochet all the way around now let me show so far what I've got this is my hat and this is how it's narrowing down so one more round and I'll meet you here. And we're slip stitching into the third chain from the beginning. There's what we have. Now the last uh, round we will chain one and single crochet into the same first stitch. Sing and we'll put single crochet in the next one uh, into the leg of the um, puff stitch two and then the next two we will put them together one and two together then again one double uh, single crochet into the next one single crochet into the next and the next two together again one one and the next two together and this is how you're gonna go all the way around. All right, now we're gonna slip stitch into the first single crochet, chain one and pull a very long tail because we're gonna have to sew um, around, actually to um, close the hole. And now we're gonna use the darning needle and we'll go into um, each around each um, stitch and uh, to close this gap 
like so in and out in and out and when you pull it it gathers together and I'm gonna close the gap and now I'm gonna sew on the pom-pom and those pom-poms have uh, a little loop right here I'm gonna go ahead and sew it onto my hat um, same like you would sew the button like I would get the needle through here and um, sew it on and there is the finished product uh, after fluffing the pom-pom a little bit it actually doesn't look as beautiful um, but um, I will keep fluffing it it will look much much better there is the hat and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial we'll give it a big thumbs up leave me a comment down below what next would you like to make and have a great week bye